Thank you for joining us. I'm Tristan Jones with the Finsiders, and joining us straight off the practice field is yes. Dolphins cornerback Sean Smith. Sean, thank you for being with us. Thanks for having me. Of course. So, uh, how's it been going out there at training camp? It's been hot. Slightly. <laughs> but no, it's been good. You know, uh, the guys are out there flying around. Uh, uh, we're putting forth good effort and trying to put on a show for the fans. All right. Speaking of the fans, we have some people on the line who are going to ask you some questions. Oh, okay. Ready to get to them? Yes, let's go. All right. First up, Chris Shashadi from Fins.com. Hi, Chris. Hi, Tristan. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm fine. Hey, Sean, thank you for taking the time to talk to us after a hot and busy practice. Oh, no problem at all. Yeah, so uh, a couple of questions for you. Uh, first of all, we know that you've been working hard on your game this off season, maybe changing your body a little bit. You know, tell us what uh, your goals have been this off season and what you've been focused on improving. Um, my goal for me was a. Uh definitely get my weight down uh, <laughs> as soon as I got here coach was like you know they want me to slim down and get lean and uh, so you know I was working on that and then for me uh, it was all about my technique you know that's some um, coach Coyle came in and, and preached for us and all to our OTA so in off season it was my, uh, my my pad level staying low on my pedal and things like that okay Chris do you have another question for Sean yeah Sean so you know, we've heard a lot about this new defense, mostly from the guys who have been at practice, media people watching it, that kind of thing. <laughs> but from your perspective, how is this this new scheme really different for you versus last year? Um, well, well, this year, you know, it's going to be a lot of pressure on the quarterback, and it's, it puts a lot of pressure on the court and on the, on the secondary pretty much to make plays because, you know, we're blitzing a lot of guys from different angles and things like that. So. You know, uh, the secondary definitely have to make plays on the ball and uh, create turnovers because that's something we, we weren't really good at last year. You know, last year we were more of a man defense, you know, base, and, you know, everybody kind of dropped back and, you know, we didn't have a lot of pressure. We kind of just relied on coverage. So, you know, this year you said the ball's going to come out. You know, you guys just make sure you, you stay low on your pedal and, and uh, catch the ball when it comes to you. All right. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Next up we have Brian Miller from FinFanatic.com. Hi, Brian. <laughs> Hi, Tristan. Good morning, Sean. How are you? How are you doing, boss? I'm doing pretty good. I've um, got two questions for you. Um, first of all, when you look at the, the change from what you did last year with Mike Nolan, this year with David uh, with uh, Kevin Coyle's defense, what's been the easiest uh, adjustment for you this year, and what's been the hardest adjustment for you this year? Um, the easiest adjustment, uh, I guess it would be the scheme. You know, uh, uh, you can only run so many so many defenses. You know, uh, the only thing that really changes is you know the terms and like the language. So uh, that part was a little difficult. You know, just trying to remember. Okay, this year we're gonna call it one thing. Where last year the exact same play was called something else. So just trying not not to get the words uh, uh, mixed up. Okay, Brian. Okay. Do you have a second question for Sean? Uh, actually, I do, and I'm going to take a different approach here. Um, okay. The Miami Dolphins wide receivers <laughs> are being you know, they're, they're being very negative in the press. I mean, they are not, but the press is being very negative towards them. True. You see these guys every single day. You play against them every single day. Yep. Is that something that's warranted at all, or are you seeing something that we haven't seen? You've been here for three years, so you should know. Yeah, I mean, you know, we don't really worry what goes on in, in the press and the media. You know, uh, th those are all outside opinions. Uh, we have a group of guys who are working their, their tails off right now. And, uh, you know, it, it's definitely going to be a, a collective effort as far as the wide receiver position. You know, uh, everybody's getting on us because we don't have that one, you know, quote unquote, number one receiver, go to guy with the big name. But we have a lot of guys who, uh, who, 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 work, who work really hard out there. You know, we got uh, Best in the slot. You know, you have uh, 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 Hartline on the outside, along with Roberto Wallace and uh, Nene. And, you know, we just have uh, uh, Chad Johnson now on the outside. So, you know, we have a lot of guys who are going to come in and just, you know, play good fall, uh, football and uh, do their job well. Fantastic. Thank you, Sean. Appreciate it. Okay, thank you, Brian. You know, before we get to the next caller, Sean, you have quite the Twitter account. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to tell people where they can follow you on Twitter and keep up with everything you have going on? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Sean Smith, 24. Um, I'm available 24-7. You know, it doesn't matter what time of the night. Uh, whenever I wake up, I always check it and uh, chat with my friends and fans. All right. Speaking of the fans, Alex Kramers is up next from Dolphins NYC. Hi, Alex. Hi, good morning, Tristan. Sean, thank you for joining us. Yep. Of course. Go ahead. Um, I do have a couple of questions. Uh, the first one for you, uh, with Jeremiah Bell no longer being on the team, you know, I wanted to ask you, do you look at yourself as one of the leaders on the secondary and a mentor to one of the, some of the younger players? Um, leader is a, a very interesting word. You know, uh, it, it's something I, I don't just give to myself. You know, I believe – the, the, the younger guys have to, you know, uh, answer that question for you, whether they, they look up to me or not. 
Um, but as far as being a mentor, yes. You know, I always try and pull guys to the side, whether it be the young guys or, you know, the older guys like Vontae and, and Richard Marshall, you know. Um, we're always out there trying to help each other to get better. So, um, you know, in, in that sense, yeah. But as far as being a leader, you know, um, I, I just go out there and do my job the best way I can and, you know, I just try and show the guys the right way to do things. Excellent. Yep. Okay, Alex, go ahead with your second question for Sean. Yeah, the second question for you is uh, something we asked Richie last week. It's something that we uh, – we are the Dolphins, uh, New York City-based uh, fan club. Okay. And we want, want to ask you, uh, when you come to New York or, or to, play, to play the Jets, I mean, uh, on Jersey, actually, or any opposing stadium, what does it mean to you to have the Aqua and Orange there in the stands? It means a lot, you know, because uh, we definitely appreciate the fan support, you know, because, <laughs> you know, whenever you're, you're, you're on the road, you know, you're always the villain. You know, you're getting booed no matter what you do. So it's always good to have, you know, a, 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 that one section you can look up to and, you know, so you get your fans screaming in the aqua and orange. And, you know, when, when you can only hear your crowd in, in, at, at their place, you know you're doing something right. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yep. All right. Thanks, Alex. Up next, we have James Morris from Dolphins Fantasy Sports. Hi, James. Hey, how are you doing today? Good, thanks. You're on with Sean. Hey, John, last week I asked Richie from a fantasy standpoint who he would take it with his first pick, and he said Reggie Bush. On the defense, if you're playing in an individual defensive Sean player Smith. league, how high would you take <laughs> Carlos Dansby in your fantasy league? Uh, oh, very high, you know, because Carlos is very smart. You know, that, that's something people don't really give a lot of credit to at the linebacker position. Um, I mean, the guy calls out the route combinations before it even happens, and, you know, he makes all the calls and adjustments out there. So, you know, when you have a guy like that playing – you know, in, in the middle of your defense, you know, he's flying around. I mean, the guy is big, 6'4", with long arms. I mean, he, he can break on any route and, and make all plays inside the middle of the field. So uh, it's huge for us to have him on this defense. Okay, James, you have another question for Sean? Yeah, with, with the new defense coming in the 4-3 and then you have Dansby moving to middle linebacker, do you think it's really going to help the secondary be able to focus more on their jobs and not be worried about what the inside's doing? therefore to help you get some more picks and some more pick sixes for fantasy defenses? Well, um, actually, you know, it, it, it's kind of funny because um, last year we were a, a 3-4 defense, but in certain plays, you know, when, when the line shifts and things like that, we kind of ended up in a 4-3 look. So, you know, it, it, it's, the 4-3 is definitely nothing new to us. You know, the guys that did it all year last year. Um, but for us in the secondary, it doesn't affect us at all. You know, uh, as long as those guys are putting pressure on the quarterback, then, you know, that's, that's going to allow us to break on the ball sooner and get interceptions and turnovers and, and that such. All right, James, thank you for being with us. Up next, Brian, right, Brian Cantanzaro from FinsRadio.net. Hi, Brian. Hi, Chris and Sean. How are you doing today? Good. All right. How are you? Good, good. Uh, Sean, my question is, uh, you know, the secondary played very well down the stretch last year, and now you've added Richard Marshall to that mix. Uh, how's Richard uh, uh, doing so far, and do you see your role changing all, at all because of him maybe moving inside to the slot more or playing safety in certain situations? Um, Rich Marshall is a guy who brings a, a lot of uh, attitude and, and swagger to the position. You know, uh, you know, we had lost Will Allen, who, who was a, a nickelback last year, and you know, he's a guy who comes in who, who can do it all. He can play inside, outside, uh, safety. You know, he's very versatile and uh, very aggressive out there. So, you know, it, it allows us to play uh, a lot more different, different coverages and move him around because he can do so many things. And uh, it definitely kind of frees me up a little bit because, you know, you have a guy you can trust in the inside. Okay, Brian, do you have a second question for Sean? Yeah, I do. Uh, I, I know you uh, went to Utah as well with uh, Koa Misi, and he's having a, a position change this year, moving to strong side linebacker. How's he doing so far at that position? Koa's doing good. I mean, Koa's been a beast for years. You know, uh, at that strong side linebacker, I mean, he has to be very strong and uh, hold the point at the line of scrimmage. And, you know, Koa has always been good with that his whole career. So, you know, uh, he, he's learning just like everybody else, and uh, I can't wait to see him out there this year because he's going to make some plays for us. Right. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. Yep. All right. Thanks, Brian. And before we move on to the next caller, don't forget to follow Sean Smith on Twitter at SeanSmith24. There you okay. go. All right. Bruce Lamb from Fanatics.com is on the line. Hi, Bruce. Hey, how's it going? Good. Thank you. You are on with Sean. All right. Hey, Sean. Uh, yep. We've heard a lot of, of things in training camp involving the pace of the offense so far this year. Uh, what do you think the pace of the offense is going to do to help the defense as far as um, – uh, being ready that first week. Well, uh, the, the pace is, is kind of a, it's kind of good for for both ends. You know, for the defense, you know, it puts us on our heels because 
we have to react a whole lot quicker. You know, you have guys lining up fast, and it's going to help us with communication. You know, because uh, in the game, you know, you have all these TV timeouts and all these breaks, so everything's kind of slow. So right now, things are moving at a high pace, high speed, and you know, uh, they have, we have the crowd noise going in practice, so it definitely helps guys communicate out there because we all know in the game, in the stadium, it gets real loud sometimes, and you know, you're not gonna always hear the call. So we have guys communicating with hand signals and that such, and you know, that's gonna be huge for us. Okay, Bruce, do you have a second question? Yeah, sure do. Um, getting a new defensive coordinator, uh, you know, players have to adjust to the coach and learn his styles and everything, um, and also learn how to trust him. What does it mean to the defense to see your defensive coordinator out there running wind sprints with you guys after practice? <laughs> it means a lot. You know, uh, Coach Core is a guy who, who's always said he's going he's to go, uh, go to bat with us. You know, uh, it's his defense, and he definitely wants to see it work, and he's going to do uh, anything to make sure we, we get it right and, and make sure we, uh, we put it on tape the way he wants to be seen. So. Uh, the way to have him out, having them out there run wind sprints with us uh, is, is definitely uh, a positive because, like I said, you have a guy who's who's committed with us and uh, he's going to be out there in the heat with us. So if we're doing it, he's doing it. All right. Thank you, Bruce. Awesome. All right. Thanks, Sean. Yeah. All right. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you to Sean Smith for being oh, here. No problem. I know it's hot out there, so uh, <laughs> thanks for being inside with us. I know. And everyone, do not forget, for full coverage of the Miami Dolphins, tune in to the Finsiders Monday through Friday from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. on Dolphins.com. And don't forget to follow Sean Smith on Twitter, SeanSmith24. And uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>